Well, as you might know, I experienced a PH crash recently, and it cost me a, a very rare and expensive fish. And it sent me down a rabbit hole and got me to really look at the differences in the water that comes out of the tap here in Nashville versus what I was getting in Southern California. Things that uh, became a problem here were not a problem in Southern California, were actually kind of disguised by the fact that I was getting such hard water out of the tap. But the water here, being so soft, it, it pretty much exhausted the aragonite and crushed coral I was using, and the tank pH started to go down, and some fish could tolerate that, and others couldn't. So I went down the rabbit hole, I did some study, now I'm a big fan of Osmo regulation, <laughs> Keep maintaining a balance between what's outside the fish and what's inside the fish, making sure that that fish is getting vital nutrients from the water, primarily through the gills. If that's not occurring, the fish will be under stress and will not display colors and will have a lot of effort in just surviving. So I'm using the Fritz products to buffer and add salt. And I added four bags of uh, Aquarium Co-op crushed coral. And the GH, KH, and PH have all adjusted into proper ranges. And I'm happy with what I'm seeing. I'm seeing calm fish, fish that don't flash after, uh, after a water change. So I'm seeing a lot of indicators that these fish are actually, in fact, doing better. Let me know what you think in the comments and check out that original video where I talk about the, uh, the pH crash and the fish that I lost. You'll get more information there, but I think I'm on the right track. It's certainly different what's going on here from what I was getting in California. And I just have to be more aware of certain things that were just sort of taken for granted back there because they were just not an issue because of the water I was getting out of the tap. But you can see these colors. This is not color corrected. This is just right directly from my uh, iPhone. And it's actually prettier in person. So let me know what you think in the comments. Have you had to do a, um, a GH and pH correction. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks. Bye-bye.